about the Ford beer. That's uh, a little bit having my fun, of course, because we have lenders, we can do what we want and we can have our fun as well, because it's not well, always hard working. But we could do, and we find some special barrels, it happens like that. So, this uh, GNG has been bottled in uh, 93. It was because there was a, a barrel, something like uh, nearly 3,000 uh, liters, left um, for nearly four years old. And I just thought maybe a, bit, a little bit too old, but it was a nice Girardin I mean. And just instead of making my classical one and two and three years, I just bottled that of blend that with a one year Lindemans. There's nothing in between. So it became a very special history, this, this blend, because uh, this was not a big amount. We had just, I don't know exactly, uh, nearly 2,000 liters about. And I bottled it and I was just waiting. We will see what it brings. Like I always say, that's very important for me. And um, the, at a certain moment, there was Joost uh, de Voer from the Heere van Liedekerke. Maybe some of you have been in Belgium and have visited the Heere van Liedekerke. It's a very beautiful, unique bar. It's in the north of Brussels, and certainly Joost de Voer is a very well known uh, Lambic lover, and he knows a lot about the beer. And sometimes it's happened to come over to us and what we can do we drink, of course we drink yours, and what you have special, always the same. Uh, but I made a special blend and I like it very much. And yours was, uh, yours was asking me, but I want a very special blend because Joost and Jesse, his wife now, we're going to marry it and we want a special blend for that marriage. So I proposed this bottle and he was very happy with that. We labeled it for them with a very special label. There is an also, there is the Oost and there is Jess. This is the Oost. So the, the, the beer as this bottled in 93, it's a selection of mine. So just he had the opportunity to buy it and to offer it to everybody who came to his mariage, to his wedding. And instead of get, getting a lot of gifts, he offered to everybody a bottle of curse. And uh, that's what he's gone. It's leaving now a special internet or wherever, um, live because people are talking about the TNG and a lot of other things. So I just saw the face of uh, Daniel because it's sure it, you cannot buy it anymore because we are just have a few bottles and you asked me to, to drink something special. That's for making it jazz. <laughs> Do you know, uh, well, so you don't even know which one this is. Uh, it, it would have different different people's Lambic from, it could be, is it, uh, is it from Lindemann's and from Frank, or do you know? Uh, I don't know. It's still on that and Lindemann's. Oh, okay. And I, I think, uh, Jean, did you want to say something about? Why, why would you not be not many other Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like you see, uh, the beer from Armand and Frank, uh, have the name Ode. We don't use the name Ode, uh, not because we produce an industrial one, it's for another reason. Like uh, Dan said, we are not member from uh, OHAL. Um, in OHAL you have all the Lambic breweries except the biggest one, Bellevue, and Cantillon. Why we don't take part of OHAL? Because we have in the association, who is a very good ID, a very good ID. But in the association, you have some lambic breweries who don't produce traditional lambic, or they produce a few, one percent or less than one percent of the global production, and for the rest, they produce industrial lambic, more than lambic. Um, Cantillon don't want simply to sit at the same table than those breweries. Okay. About the name Oud, um, we don't use it because in the food industry it's always the same things. We have to follow what the big <coughs> companies want. I spoke about Paul Cantillon, Marcel Cantillon, Jean-Pierre Van Roy, my ancestors, 
they produced a beer called Goose, Goose Cantillon. I'm working always in the same way. I use always the same material, the same type of cereals, the same process. And I don't understand why I have to change the name of my beer. Why it isn't the modern breweries who change the name of the goose? Why those modern breweries don't put the name modern goose, uh, fake goose, uh, <laughs> industrial goose? It's not, it's not, so it's simply uh, a reaction against this, this type of, uh, of changement who are going always in the same way. It's always the traditional one who have to change the name. We refuse it. Okay, there's the controversy I told you we wouldn't have. None. Precision. There is, oral is a good idea, and you have also good breweries in oral. But Armand is the president of oral, and it was, I, I think it was his idea. And so he can't make statements like Jean just did. Um, and God bless both of them for having uh, this different position. And I think Frank has a third position. Uh, and that's why we're here. It's going to be fun. To the extent we want to get into it. Uh, but Armand is very keen to really establish, uh, you know, Lambic and, and, and Guz, real real stuff, as a sort of uh, appellation contourné, you know, like we say in French, uh, like you have for Bordeaux. Or, uh, Armand wants to have a, a, a group of people together, working together to change the laws and make sure that the that divisional production is protected. And to do that, he may be dealing with people who aren't doing things the way that traditional people do. And uh, I don't know if you want to say more than that, Armand, or... Uh, no, Armand wants to drink.